Pop yeah, her right. hair, yes, ready to go. Too. But no, they won't. <laughs> yeah. So ready, ready in the Rock Vault just hit 500 shows, yes. Robin. I mean, yes. how do you feel about that? How does it make you and your team feel? Um, well, we weren't counting. Somebody else was counting. <laughs> Somebody good. else was counting. Um, it's quite amazing. Uh, yeah. Two and a half years. Uh, we started initially with five shows a night, went up to six shows a night. Our shows have been nine through 11. Uh -huh. It's quite amazing. You just Man. celebrated your 500th performance over the weekend. Yes. You had a lot of people turn a out. A lot of people. And that was an amazing show that you put on for free for people out yes, there. Yes, we did an outdoor show at 5 in the afternoon in the, what, 105 yeah. or something? Yes. And wow. then we did our 8 o'clock, which was our first uh, new slot at 8 o'clock uh, on Saturday evening. And it was, it, was, it was pretty awesome. And do you always wear this elaborate of costume, or is this just your day-to-day? -day? Because, I mean, can we put up the yeah, shoe again? Yeah. <laughs> This I, is, I will, I will this model is, the shoes. Be careful, Rick. This, this is the uniform. You might poke your eye out. Be yeah, right? It's gorgeous. You Did you have that custom made or where did you find it? Shoes. No, um, it's gorgeous. a very good friend of mine, uh, Nader the Priest. Uh, mm -hmm. I did a little fill in for him one night and he goes, Bro, you need to wear some of these boots. <laughs> Love dude. the studs on and it. And you're like, Okay, you and want to leg up the And I said, They have my name on it. So. Right. Thanks, dude. So, <laughs> for the folks who don't know, where can they see? How can they catch it? How much do they need to pay up? Say all that again mm -hmm. in English. <laughs> Where, when, and how much? Where, when? Uh -huh. These? No, they oh. show. <laughs> right. I'm going to yes, sell those are, shoes off your We feet. are live. Uh, the New Times uh, will now be Wednesday through Monday mm -hmm. at the New Tropicana, 8 o'clock through 10 o'clock. Wow. 8 wow. o'clock. Six o nights a week. Six. Okay, and I hear they're telling us that you come bearing gifts. Is this I true? I did. Yes? Well, so we already love you. For yeah. the ladies, can I just. <laughs> Woo! Woo! We love presents. But you have to try them on now. Right um, now? <laughs> How cute. Thank Did you bring us all one or do we have to find for it? Oh, nice. You have to sing for it. <laughs> These are cute. We that rock. is so darling. We oh, want to thank rock. you so much. Yes. Yeah, Talk, to us, cute. Yeah. Talk to us a little bit welcome. about the show. For those who haven't had a chance to go check it out. I mean, yes. More details. More details. Yeah, easy. So the show, <laughs> the show <laughs> is a... <laughs> just clean up the house. The show, it's a classic rock show. Okay. Um, we cover uh, in as much as we can a chronological order. 60s, 70s, and 80s. Ooh. Classic rock. People say, well, why don't you do this and this and this? Well, we, we have two hours. We cram as much as we can. There's... Uh, Myself singing, Paul Shortino singing, okay. Andrew Freeman singing, uh, Mark Bowles singing, Carolyn Little singing, and then we have an amazing band. We have a, our, a musical director, Hall of Famer, Howard Lees from Heart. We have uh, Hugh McDonald on bass from uh, Bon Jovi. We have Doug Aldridge on lead guitar from Whitesnake wow. and Dio. We have Jay Shellen from Asia on drums. We have Michael T. Ross from Lita Ford Band. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Did I forget somebody? I hope not. And of course, we have our fearless leader, Sir Harry Cowell, our producer, who put the entire thing together. And 500 shows later, you guys are yes, doing exactly. all right. Yeah. <laughs> Growing up, who was your biggest influence? Oh, uh, I actually grew up, I loved listening to Motown. Wow. I was a huge Four Tops oh, fan, nice. Temptations. Oh, good. And uh, I grew up, I was born and raised in Ireland, so growing up, um, Rock music was played very late at night, so rockers had this whole thing, dude, you stay up all night listening. Well, I listened to Motown. I just loved the lyrics. I loved the melody. And then later on, I heard Free with Paul Rogers singing, and I went, why? White boy got soul. Right. And I went, well, this is great. And I could remember what great melodies. And that transitioned into my second biggest influence, Lou Graham from Foreigner over the years. Oh, so, yeah. um, But Motown still... Right digs there. A, digs a very deep, deep, deep. Hits home. Yes, great yeah. influence. Yeah. Yes. Well, we're so glad you're here with us today. I'm so glad to be here. <laughs> and you, if you're not careful, I won't stop talking. <laughs> 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 okay. so, trust me, that's not a problem among, uh, for us here. We're going to talk about something.